Hello and welcome to this week's Take 10 with Spa PR. Uh, my name is Tracy and today I have with me um, Ricky Daniels who is the co-founder of Tribe, um, an exciting and very refreshing new form of um, software for the spa and leisure industry. So I'm just waiting for uh, Ricky to join me. I think that's it. Hopefully he'll be joining very, very shortly. Great. So I'll just wait for him to come online. With Ricky, hopefully. Ricky, are you there? Great, hi. <laughs> hi Tracy, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, are you? All good, thank you. Loving the bottle in the background. Yeah, it's just there, positioned correctly. Great bottle. <laughs> good for you. How are you today? You all right? All good. Yeah, still still recovering slightly from um, spa life. but um, <laughs> <laughs> was... at, least, at least you've got your voice back after all those meetings. Yeah, I think it might still sound slightly husky. Um, yeah, but, uh, I'm good. I'm <laughs> okay, how, 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 did you, how did you find spa life? Yeah, really, really, really useful this year. And it was um, so wonderful to um, meet up again with so many sort of spa colleagues and friends and uh, really feel the, the sort of warmth and the fact that we were all working together for the industry. Um, so, yeah, it was it was great. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, Ricky, so um, tell us about, you know, tell our listeners about and viewers about Tribe, you know, your story, what made you start the company with your fellow co-founders. Um, yeah, tell us, tell us your story. No worries. Um, so we started Tribe at the beginning of April last year. Um, and it's myself and two partners in the business, Will and Steve, um, and we previously worked together in our old lives um, at a company called Design My Nights. Um, I guess as a lot of uh, startups kind of start really because uh, you know you, you know each other really well your, your skill sets complement each other and um, and it feels natural to move into that kind of next stage and, and team up together and um, we built something pretty uh, we like to think pretty special um, at our time at Design My Night um, I guess for yeah anyone on on the video today that's not fully aware of Design My Night um, that has been going for around ten years uh, it's a it's, uh, it, there's a few facets to the business. Um, it's a consumer-facing discovery website for hospitality businesses, so restaurants, bars, pubs, private hire spaces. Um, and that's getting around 14 million views per month um, at the moment. Uh, and then what we did behind the scenes is we built cloud-based software for the hospitality industry. So we built a reservation uh, software called Collins, uh, which sits inside restaurants and allows them to manage all of their business and reservations. That's in around 5,000 venues to date. Um, and so some amazing clients on, on Collins, the reservation software like Mitchell's and Butler or Fuller's or Stonegate. Uh, and then a ticketing software called Tonic, uh, sort of managing so ticketed events. And then there was a voucher in software called Soda. Um, at that company, um, my partner, Will, was the CTO. Uh, my other partner, Steve, was lead developer and I managed one of the sales teams. Um, that company was acquired uh, around three years ago by a company called The Access Group. And we were all there as part of the managed buyout. Uh, and then when the time came to it, um, you know, it had always been our dream, the three of us to team up and, and do our own thing. And we all loved health and wellbeing. Um, and around the end of April last year, we, we just said, OK, let's do it. Let, let's go into health and wellbeing. Um, we, don't, we don't know where that's going to take us. Um, and around that time, it was a pretty awful period, just full stop, really. Um, but what we did find was that people were just, you know, at home um, and just want, were willing just to have a chat. They've been moving at a million miles an hour in, in their working lives. And because they were at home, they just wanted to have a chat with us. And so we had a really great range of conversation across the health and well-being industry. So we spoke to uh, large scale um, gym operators. We spoke to high street fitness studios. We spoke to practitioners like chiropractors and physiotherapists. Um, mm -hmm. We spoke to the public sector. Uh, and then we started speaking to kind of what we've called the complex operational spa and leisure industry, um, just because it is such a complex operation. Um, what you do tend to find is a large proportion of that is also associated with hotels, just because of that complex operational nature. And it became pretty clear to us um, pretty quickly that um, this was something that we could really come in and have an impact with um, and build a, a cloud-based software for. 
Um, when we started analyzing the industry, what we did find in the UK, especially there are predominantly two main software servicing the industry. And, and that was Premier Core and that was Concept. And kind of what we were finding was the same um, same feedback as we were speaking to operators, which was that, you know, very much on premise based. And for, for those listening at the moment and kind of figuring out what on premise means, it's, you know, you're very much locked to the computer that you're using the system on. Um, or if you want to put it onto another computer, you have to pay for an additional license. Um, then also the other points being were that it was um, that it was kind of clunky, uh, very like Windows 95 looking, you know, for new starters that were coming into the business. Um, it was very overwhelming. And also just really that um, they, these, these software companies weren't innovating uh, and taking that software to levels that the operator needed to be at now. So continually innovating on that functionality. So yeah, around... Um, end of April is where, or end of April, yeah, is where, uh, end of April is where we said, okay, right, we're going to, this is it, we're going for Tribe. Um, we started building Tribe, and to really fast forward to where we are today, um, mm -hmm. from last, um, last April to now, um, you know, we're, we're live and set up with the first 10 clients, um, and we have received um, financial backing at the beginning of this year, and, you know, we've, we've got a full-blown um, product, and the really exciting thing I always like to tell people is, you know, we've really spent I think from March and for, from March for about a year and a half, we really spent that time playing catch up to what is the industry standard, the functionality. I think the really exciting thing now is what can we achieve in the next year and a half, the, the next yeah. two years. Yeah, what we do is we build, you know, we, we build everything in-house. So we've got Steve and da, um, Steve and Wilbur, our two partners, uh, both developers, uh, and they're both uh, building. And we take all of that raw usage feedback and put that into the product. And we've also got Dan, who's uh, our senior developer as well. Um, uh, so I think I hope, hopefully I didn't waffle on too long there. But that's kind of a story. A story with tribe. Yeah, that's great. Well, I mean, you've come a, a long way in a short time, and I think you bring this huge tech expertise to the industry, which is what it's been needing for some time. You know, to um, to reduce some of the sort of pain points that operators are sort of going through at the moment. So you spoke about um, sort of on-premise, the fact that um, being cloud-based means that this does away with those sort of clunky servers and everything. But what are the other advantages of Tribe to the operator? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a fair few. Um, really, I think the most important one is that we're completely operator first. So we work incredibly closely with our operators to ensure that Firstly, that their real usage feedback is being fed into the way that we improve the product, but also to just hear from them. The exact coming link, linking back to the first question, the first point there is, um, yeah, um, what is it we should be doing next? What is it that you've always wanted from Aspire and Leisure Software to continually innovate within your business? We want to hear that. I think that's massive. The other point that you you mentioned as you were asking the question, and I think it's a massive one just to focus in on really, is that we are fully cloud based, and that's and that's something that's a real mission for us here at Tribe. We're trying to bring the industry into the cloud. And, you know, we don't do licensing fees. Um, you can have as many users on the system as you want, on as many devices as you want. We're trying to help you adapt to a more mobile workforce. Yeah. Uh, that's and, you. Sorry. yeah. And I know you also, you know, because some people might not understand the complete sort of advantages of being cloud-based, but also the fact that then behind the scenes, I guess that you can easily do the updates without interfering with the operators as they're going about their day-to-day -day business. Absolutely. We're continually innovating. And one of the most amazing things about cloud-based software is that, you know, you, we do it on a daily basis. Sometimes we do it on a weekly basis. We're adding mm -hmm. new functionality without the operator having to do a thing. And all they have to do is refresh their browser. And yeah, so amazing. Because I know, I know that's been a real pain point of operators, the fact that, you know, when there are updates, it really, you know, um, affects what they're doing. So it interrupts their business. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, sometimes um, a, a more old school software style approach of, uh, of, of running that would also be to to then lump that with a large fee as an upgrade fee, yes. um, which just isn't the case with us. It's, you know, yeah, continually innovating. Um, and we've got to do is refresh the browser. Great. And you also spoke about the fact that you don't need multitude of licenses. So you literally get, I guess you get one license and that covers any users. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just unlimited licenses. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, it's just a cloud-based kind of software approach, really. Um, yeah. we we practiced it in our old lives of design by night as well. And it was unlimited licenses, so it's well, yeah, like you said, one license, but you can have as many users on the system as you want, yeah. on the devices as you want. 
I suppose we don't shouldn't really call it a license, should we? We just call it a sub, you know the fact that you're a subscription or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, it's, it's as many users on the system as you want on the main, as many devices as you want for sure. Yeah. Um, but I guess some other points just to kind of note in on would be um, we are. Again, I kind of alluded to it in the first uh, point of our discussion, which is that uh, we're completely user experience first. We want we want people to be able to log in to try and just not feel overwhelmed as soon as they log in. It's really clear and concise where you need to go um, if you're looking to do a certain action within the system, like carry out your stock take or yeah. add a package in the system, so forth, so forth. Um, and that's pretty key to us, um, just that it's not overwhelming as you log into the system. Um, a really, really big point for us and one that we're really keen to kind of champion is that we're completely linking the online customer bookings journey for the operator on the operator's website to their backup house operational system in Tribe. One of the big things that we kind of started looking at very early on was, you know, why is there this huge disconnect between um, what we see as these industry leaders um, and their operational software? And then when you go onto their website, it's kind of call or email in to book. And mm. why is there something that's just linking that together? And as we started going further into that, you know, and as we came out of the last lockdown, we just saw how uh, how overwhelmed some of these reservations teams were getting with just the sheer level of bookings that were coming in. It's still happening right now. And and and, we, and you know, with us, it's, you know, you can sell all of your packages, all of your treatments, all of your fitness classes. Uh, you can run your membership database all through an online shop that we passed with the operator. Uh, and then you can take those bookings, take those prepayments, and it will land straight into your tribe system without the team having to lift a finger. So, um, it's been, yeah, it's been incredible to see that kind of come to fruition. And we, and we, we plan on building that from strength to strength. We've just introduced some really nice functionality with, around upselling and cross-selling on the customer shop. So just nice ways of also securing additional revenue before the customer walks into the venue, you know, such as would you like a bottle of champagne on arrival as you're checking mm -hmm. out, uh, which is really nice. Um, we're completely API first. Um, so uh, yeah, um, in, in the software world, API is essentially just a bridge really into other softwares. Um, and, I'm glad uh, you explained that, Ricky, because some, you know, <laughs> I think sometimes you speak in tech, you know, tech people speak in absolutely. technical talk, don't they? And uh, have to explain to the rest of us. Absolutely, no, it's, it's, it's true. And, um, you know, even I have to be spoken to sometimes by, by Will, Stephen, Dan, because, you know, sometimes it goes over my head as well. So it's, it's always great to yeah. just always give people an understanding of the tech behind it as well. But in cloud-based software terms, having what we have, which is an open API, just means that the potential for us to fit into current other softwares in the industry, such as property management systems, mm -hmm. vouchering software, um, something we're really excited about, um, online travel agents as well, is, is massive. Yeah already done a, a number of those integrations but we want to keep working on those yeah. current integrations and building those from strength to strength but also working on more and more new integrations so having that open api is, is a really amazing thing for the industry and we want to yeah. be able to uh, let try become the most open and connect spiral ledger software in the market um we we are trying to come as a breath of fresh air when it comes to the pricing model in the industry as well. We really mm -hmm. simply are one set monthly fee. There's no upfront installation or setup fees. And we've, we've heard some of those prices, they're massive. We really just are yeah. one, one fee. Um, and then um, I guess two other smaller points that I, I, I think are quite big actually, really when it comes to the functionality in our software, we do have membership in the system. But actually what we enable the operator to do is completely link all of their membership functionality in the sense that within Tribe, you can hold your membership data space, you can carry out all of your direct debits within Tribe, that links to your reporting within Tribe, and we even have an online members portal for you to place on your website where, you're, where you can actually manage your members as well, or they can manage themselves. And then also just the last point really is that we're doing um, a lot with group bookings. So we know that can be a huge revenue driver for the business if it comes to, I don't know, for example, um, a hen party of eight or 10. Mm -hmm. Again, with the online shop, put it all through the shop and it can be all selected. Everyone can choose what they want in the booking. They can prepay, land straight to the system and no one, and none of the operational team have to worry about too much there. Um, so yeah, so that, that's kind of, that's um, answering um, a few, yeah, answering that question there, Tracy. Okay, that's great. Now, um, and obviously there are advantages too, not just for single operators, but for, you know, hotel groups that might have, you know, a number of spa um, operations. Um, what, what particularly is, is great for them about try, using Tribe? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I like to think that actually just the cloud-based nature of mm. Tribe is incredible for groups. Uh, we've very touched on the fact that it's, you know, it's unlimited license fees. So we can just imagine how many licenses they could, a group could potentially run into there, or just the, the number of users, yeah, that a group might have. 
Um, as we've gone further down the route of working with groups on tribe, even just the small things uh, seem to be massive, such as, you know, just the ability to flick very easily between properties in the system without having to kind of log out and log back in or, or yeah. just have very separate standing systems has been massive. So within tribe login, flick between your venues if you need to. Um, we have user-based permissions. So if only the spa manager on one site can, um, has access to their site, they can only see their site. But if a group reservations manager needs to see all of their sites, they can just flick between all those systems. Uh, one thing that we're really, really excited about tackling very soon is our group reporting um, function. Uh, we know that's going to be uh, really great for the industry. We know that's something that um, is slightly lacking. Um, and with reporting, like our mindset really is that we want to work as closely with the operator as possible on that. Um, from a technical perspective, reporting isn't the most difficult a task to tackle. We just want to make sure that we're giving our operators the reports they need in the format that they require. Um, yeah. So that's kind of also something that we're really excited to tackle with groups. And also, you know, again, kind of like a call to arms here really is um, to the groups, you know, we want to work with you on that. What else is there that you feel like you would need in a software that you're currently not seeing? Because I'm, I'm sure there'll be things that we haven't thought of yet and we'd love to yeah. hear. Yeah, it's very much working in partnership, isn't it? Um, now, I've been talking to some of our spa operators and one of the biggest problems they have with changing software is the fact that they're really concerned about migrating all their data because it just seems such a huge headache of a job to do. How, how can you at Tribe make that easier for them or less painful? Absolutely. Um, every, every case is different. Um, we, my, our main message here at Tribe is we just want the operators to know they're not, they're not alone on that process. We're there every step of the way and we will come in and also help project manage that alongside you. Uh, we've, we've tackled a number of them now. We've come up with various different methods in the way that we can actually take that data from the old system into the new system. Um, and we've tackled that with a, very, with a group of different methods that we would look to speak. We'd engage dialogue with the, with the customer essentially and, and analyze all of those routes and then decide on the best one based on their decision and kind of, and kind of go from there. There's a number of different routes we can go down essentially. Um, I, I always like to kind of, it's, it's a little bit cheesy and I sound like a broken record when I say this, but um, I really think uh, a lot of the time, you know, with any, with any operational software switch, there's always going to be a period of, of learning a new system, learning a new way of working, and also just uneasiness on this, yeah, uneasiness and frustration. That, that just does happen with switching over in, in any walk of life from one system to another. Mm -hmm. um, I always say it's, it's some short-term <laughs> short pain for some long-term gain. Yeah. Um, we're there to help you through that short-term pain. Um, so yeah, that's kind of on that side, but like, yeah, we take it to the table. We have that conversation, we present the different routes and we're there to help project manage. Yeah. Um, another pain point for the operators is, well, sort of pain or an issue, I guess, is that many have built up their um, relationships with existing spa software companies. So is there anything that you, you know, because while it's easy to stay where you are, um, it's not always good for the business, is it? So despite friendships and loyalty, you know, you have to always be re-looking at what's best for your business. So what do you say to those star operators who um, perhaps feel that their, you know, their loyalty is with someone else, so it's difficult, more difficult to move? We completely appreciate that loyalty. And, you know, on, and on the other side of that, we're, we're very grateful to our clients for theirs. Um, what I would say to that is I don't, I don't feel like loyalty should be substituted um, for functionality and overall impact to your, to your actual um, business and operations. Um, and I think when you look, I, you know, I, I, I always just love to say like, you know, have, have a look at Tribe, just see what the potential is there. Um, mm -hmm. But no, we can't discredit, you know, loyalty. We're very thankful to our customers for that. Um, yeah. I think what, what we have found is um, the industry is, is, is hungry for change. Um, they're looking to move into the cloud and they're looking towards other areas of functionality that we've highlighted at the beginning of the conversation. Um, but, you know, we're, we're um, I, I would like to say, just take, take, have, take a chance to have a look at Tribe, have a look at what it can do for the business. And another point that I always like to kind of reiterate is um, what we're really trying to do here at Tribe is shape Tribe into your business operations so that you don't have to shape your operations around an operational software. Um, and that's kind of really where I like to hit home in that sense with what we can achieve with Tribe. Um, yeah. 
Okay. So, I mean, obviously one of your challenges and the challenge with any sort of new business to an industry is that you are new and slightly sort of unknown and untested. So what can you say to operators to make them feel, you know, that they can trust in Tribe? Absolutely. Um, and I think that our reassurance lies, lies in our history. Uh, mm -hmm. We have been here before and we have made this journey. Um, like, we, like we discussed at the beginning of the conversation, uh, what we achieved at Design My Night, we like to think was, was pretty special. You, you had a consumer face and discovery website there, uh, which was one of the leaders in the industry in the UK. Uh, a reservation software with over 5,000 venues across the UK with some, you know, some massive, massive companies there in the likes of Mitchells and Butler or Fuller's or Young's. Um, the ticketing and events management software and the vouchering software. Um, completely appreciate that we are moving into a new industry and that comes with various different challenges. Um, but when it comes to operational software, that's where our expertise lies and working closely with the operator in the industry is where we can achieve that perfect fit. Um, we also have received that um, private round of funding that I mentioned at the beginning of the conversation, at the beginning of the year, that has enabled us to provide stability and also mm -hmm. growth with the, um, as we begin to, as we, as we have begun to hire out um, our various different teams in the business as we would, as we would like to. Um, yeah. And also, yeah, I think um, just to have a look at kind of what we have achieved since, you know, launching the first yeah. version of the software, which was actually back in September to actually where we've come to where we yeah. are today. Um, and some of those lovely, um, lovely and amazing operators that we have on board now. Yeah. So can you, um, talking of, you know, new operators and your first clients, can you name any of the spas that have come on board? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so really um, cool just to kind of note the two that we begun with, uh, which was uh, Riffin Castle in Wales and the Shevin Country Park Hotel and Spa in, in Yorkshire. I think that, that's a really important one for, for us to, to kind of always note, note back to. Is in, and that's because we started in those two as a trial towards the Prahi Hotel Group's um, flagship venue, which was Shrigley Hall, which is a, yeah. um, a very, very large operation. And, and um, we achieved that um, and have, have and launched in Shrigley Hall. So yeah, three operators there, Riffin Castle in Wales, Shevin Country Park Hotel and Spa and, and Shrigley Hall. And some others that I can mention um, would be Landley Hall Hotel and Spa, Manor House um, Hotel and Spa, um, Freedom Priory, and a, um, a hotel just outside of London called Birch. And uh, we've got a few more exciting um, announcements to make very soon. Brilliant. Well, no, I mean, you've, you've done really well in such a short time and particularly in the current climate where, you know, where operators are so sort of concentrated on, you know, the, the current challenges of just operating their business. But I think that shows that the industry, despite that, is always looking forward to see how can we make things better for our clients and customers. And that was certainly um, a strong message coming out of the Spa Life Convention, um, that it was all about clients, how can we make them their lives better um, and, you know, more enjoyable as well. So um, that's really great work. Um, so, you know, obviously working in tech and tech changes like by the second, really, um, you know, what new services can tribe partners look forward to um, if they get involved with you? Yeah, absolutely. Um... Always cool just to kind of look back on what we've built already um, in the last year and a half because it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, you know, we've got full scheduling and availability within the system. We are fully cloud-based, as, as we mentioned a few times through the conversation. Uh, you've got payments functionality in there and, 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 and EPOS. Uh, you've, got the, you've got membership within Tribe. You've got inventory management within Tribe. You can sell your retail products within Tribe. You've got road to management within Tribe. There's reporting in Tribe, multi-property access. Uh, we've got waitlist functionality in Tribe. Uh, and then you've also got the number of integrations we've already done, such as um, Opera PMS, Guest Line PMS, um, RMS PMS. We've integrate, integrated with Gift Pro vouchers, with Gift Pro vouchers um, and, there's the, and the, we've got more PMSs on the way and also more vouchering providers. And also I've talked about the OTA integrations that we're going to be tackling um, very shortly as well. Um, so actually that kind of leads into why I should have even just answered the question within the first place is what, what are we what are we doing next? So one of those is just continual continual work on our already integrated partners, um, such as Opera, Guestline, RMS and Gift Pro. But then we want to keep pushing more and more integrations into other PMSs out there in the industry, mm -hmm. other vouchering softwares and those OTAs. Um, you do have the ability in Tribe to m manage your overnight packages. 
Um, but we see this as a massive, massive challenge in the industry and one that we want to really help solve. So we're working on tools within the software that will enable you to manage overnight packages a lot more efficiently. Then also we're going to be working on continual integration with our PMS providers to make sure that the, the link between both that PMS and Tribe can enable the operator to have a really full understanding and management of their overnight packages. And then another one that we're really, really excited to tackle, um, which is again, one we're really excited to work closely with our partners on is um, advanced field management. So one of the big things we've been hearing from our operators is that they'd love to start charging their spa like they would a hotel room, but they just mm -hmm. don't have the tools at their disposal, disposal to enable them to do that easily. So yeah. we think that's going to be really cool and groundbreaking for the industry, and we can't wait to get that, start working on that and get that out there. Um, and then I always like to come back to kind of where we always start, which is we want to work with the operator and we want to hear from you what it is you think we should be doing next because, you know, that's the feedback cycle. You give us what you think we should be doing next, we build in-house, we develop, we release, start again. Wow. Yeah. No, absolutely. I think it is, you know, and that way it can be much more bespoke to what's, you know, what's required rather than you providing just sort of templates for software that, um, you know, the operators have to fit in with. So, um, yeah, that's we're really good, Yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely, we're, we're building an incredibly flexible solution. Mm. Um, and yeah, that, and that's going to be key to our growth. We, we know the operations differ from spa to spa, but it's incredibly flexible track. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you, Ricky. That's been really informative. And um, I feel like I've learned a lot in tech at the same time. But um, I'm glad you're on that side doing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's great to hear. I'm glad, I'm glad you learned as well today. Yeah. So um, how can people, if people want to get in touch with you to find out more, um, how can they do this apart from through your, um, obviously through your Instagram channel? Yeah, um, really simple. Um, you can go one of two ways, really. You can come through our website. Um, it's literally just try.be. So don't, don't be confused by tribe.com. We're, we're try, just, just, just try.be. Um, or you could just email me. I'm, I'm ricky at try.be. So either way. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you, Ricky. And um, good luck with everything. I hope it goes really well. Thank you very much, Tracy. Thanks for your time. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye.